Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe of Living Streams International. We meet behind the trade fair, behind Zenith College, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. My topic for today is marriage the way I see it. Marriage the way I see it. When I look at Genesis chapter 2 from verse 8 to 18 onwards, I see a, a very interesting principle that God laid down. You know, the first time, you know, God said, you know, I, I created Adam and all those other things. He created lion, lioness, uh, bear, bearess, tiger, tigress, giraffe, giraffes, you know, lizard, lizardress, snake, snakes. <laughs> That's just a joke. You know, and all the things that comes with it. He created man. And when he created man, then he released the principles for marriage for me, as far as I can see. He said, number one, it is not good for man to be alone. It is not good for man to be alone. So he said, the first thing that he saw was the loneliness of man. And then number two, he said, let us make um, a help mate for him. Let us make a help mate for him. And then after he had made them all, then he said, now be fruitful and uh, multiply. So now, um, God for me gave some principles concerning uh, marriage. He gave some uh, principles or pillars for marriage. He said, number one, let, it is not good for man to be alone. So the first principle he gave for marriage was companionship. Marry your friend. Companionship. He said, listen, it is not good for man to be alone. So someone who will cure your loneliness. Someone who will be a companion to you. Someone who is going to stay with you. You get it? After all is said and done. After all that this thing. In your retirement age. In all those things. Your friend. So companionship is very, very important. Where God is concerned. He said. It is not good for man to be alone. It is not good for man to be alone. So the first principle is companionship. Friendship. That's the basis. Marry your friend. Marry your best friend. Your best female, uh, female friend or your best male friend. The one that you're kosher with. The one that uh, companionship. Nothing is worked. The relationship is not high maintenance. The relationship is, is simple. It's at, at its barest. I mean, that, that's what it is. Yeah, at its barest, it still flows. That is marry a friend. Companionship. Marry somebody you can laugh with. Marry somebody you can tease. The person can also tease you. But marry somebody who gives you, it's, it's fun, it's your friend. So companionship is the primary reason why we get married. Then the secondary reason, he said, let us make help meet for him. That is purpose. Oh boy, I know I'm going to get into trouble over here. Because there are people who believe that purpose must come first. Oh, wow. So uh, we have people who say, you know, I I'm an evangelist. I want to marry a singer who when she stands on stage and she sings the thunder and the lightning are going to be felt and seen. Or somebody is going to say, I'm marrying somebody, you know, I'm a pastor. I have to marry somebody who don't get it. And, and then purpose, you know, purpose comes first for a lot of people. But let me ask a question. Are you going to be preaching forever? Are you going to be working as an engineer forever? I'm going to work in as an uh, electrician forever. I'm going to marry it for the purpose. Are you going to stay in that forever? There's going to come a retiring age. There's going to come a time where you can't do all those things anymore. And so what do you, if we're marrying for purpose, so after purpose, then nothing exists anymore. Then we don't have anything in common anymore. So purpose would come and it would go with time. Because somebody else will pick up. There will not be a time. Elijah is not going to be relevant anymore. Elisha must come. There's going to come a time where Moses is not going to be relevant anymore. Joshua must come. There's going to come a time where Paul may be phasing out and Timothy must come. Companionship. Paul was a man of purpose. And all he spent his life was on pursuing purpose, pursuing purpose. But at the end of his days, he needed companionship. So he said, send me John Mark. Companionship is very, very important. So after companionship, then purpose. Then you look at the person... In terms of purpose, 
Is the person up to the purpose I have? Is the person fit enough to meet the purpose that I have? Don't go and say I'm going to just marry a companion and then after that, no. But purpose is also very important. It's a key ingredient to marriage. And that's what God said. Let us meet somebody who's going to help him. So you, the man, you're coming into the woman's life to help her achieve her goals, achieve her potential. And you, the woman, you're also coming in to help the person, uh, to help the man achieve his potential and achieve his purpose. So the first reason is companionship. The second reason is, is purpose. And the third reason, and the third reason is very, very interesting. He said, be fruitful and multiply. Can I introduce the third reason? Pleasure. Pleasure. So marry somebody that, but well, man, I mean, yeah. Yeah, it's there. Don't, 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 don't know, it's there. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. The person, I mean, the person is attractive to me. You know, the person is attractive to me. Yeah. Somebody who fascinates me, somebody who also meets my senses in terms of my pleasure part. Forgive me for saying that, but that's the truth. So let me just say it in plain black words. Somebody who turns me on. Pleasure. Because you know what happens? Oh, well, why have you not put children on this thing? Children are, are a product of pleasure. So the last thing is children. The last thing is children. Because they are a byproduct of our pleasure. So companionship, purpose, pleasure, and then fruits. This is how I would like to put it. Because a time is going to come where I can't preach anymore. Where's my friend? A time is going to come where you can't heal the sick or raise the dead anymore. Where's your friend? A time is going to come where you can't fly as a pilot anymore. Where's your friend? A time is going to come where you're not going to be the beauty queen anymore. Where's your friend? So, companionship, purpose, Pleasure and fruits. God bless you and see you later.